get into it. Do another video. All right, let's go. Ooh, the Genesis. I like the lights on that. That's pretty clean. Looks good. Here we go. Another another good turn. I did see that there's a new update out. I think it's the 69.3.1. Uh, I haven't got that yet, so I'm still kind of waiting around for that. It'll be nice when it does come out, or when I guess when it rolls out to the assets. I've seen um, a few people doing videos with the threes that had it, uh, so maybe it's just a matter of time before the S gets it. But uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Another drive. Let's see. Okay, we're not going through this. I wouldn't have. Well, I probably would have would have gassed it there and got through the slate, but this is good. And we're also, this episode, we're trying out the uh, this X3, the Insta360 X3. So, curious to see how that's going to work. That's going to give us that 360 view inside the car. Um, I'll try to clip that and make that look nice. So, really excited about using this camera because I just picked it up. Um, picked it up uh, maybe four or five days ago. So, I don't really know much about it. I watched a few videos on people you know, describing it, what it could do. I came across one channel that was actually really, really cool. She does, she does a really good job. I think her name is Tamara. Uh, I don't remember her last name, but um, really, really great channel for camera reviews. And I'd recommend it. All right, let's see about this left turn. All right, there's some cars coming. Uh, we stopped short. It looks like we, we're gonna have some time. We're kind of creeping now, but I wonder how it's gonna handle it knowing, what? don't go. All right, hang on. I I had to disengage. That shit was scaring me. There was like a car pulling up, and you know maybe I was gonna be fine, but I didn't want to. I'm not trying to crash my you know my ninety five thousand dollar car. Sorry. I want to test this, but I also you know want to have a car to drive. I don't want to have to drive the Model Three I have while I wait for a new car. So let's see. We're switching over to highway mode. Um, we do have a little bit of a drive to where we're going. We're going 21 miles and then we'll be getting off. Um, we're on the turnpike now, so we're gonna take the turnpike and then we're gonna get off to get on 95, head south, to get to Nothing But Cakes, which is it's in Palm Beach Gardens. So, quick, quick, quick drive there. I'll throw on some music for you guys. Uh, enjoy the ride, see you there. Someone just maybe driving really slow to get off here. Probably a larger truck or something. We're coming. I'm, I'm curious how it's going to handle this uh, toll plaza. There's a specific lane you would want to be in, and so you would want the car to be in the far right lane. But there's also a car coming behind. Okay, which way are we going? Okay, we're going through this one. That was that was the right one to go through. So, really good job to that. Okay, I'm right here. I hear you. 
when you're tripping out on me. All right, I like that. That was perfect, perfect execution right here. It did put the blinker on slightly, so it looked like we were gonna get in, you know, this middle lane, but yeah, it, it chose correctly, which was, which was nice. Let's see. All right, here we go. Nice moving. Now we're gonna have to merge onto the highway. A lot of people, every time I get on this, there's gonna be someone that's gonna switch lanes to get on. Yep, right here. Never fails. No one gets in the far light, right lane if they're gonna go this way. And I'm always like, just, like it, it's, to me, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you wanna get on the highway, get in the far right turning lane. But, you know, for everyone, for a lot of people, they, it, it just, you know, right over their head. All right, let's go. Speed it up a little bit. We're gonna hit this merge over here. Uh, I'm not seeing, see one car coming. So, looks looks like this should be a, a easy, easy merge. Car could take the whole lane if they wanted. Okay, here we go. Okay, no, 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 speed up. Okay, merge us in. So it's a pretty hands-free experience, except in uh, like occasions you have to, like this guy is speeding up. Um, okay, we do need to merge over. Let's see what he's gonna do. Is that way? Yeah, it is pretty hands-free. I mean, once I get on the highway, I have to. Um, initiate these lane changes I don't let it just do the auto lane change because sometimes it just like just wants to change lanes at weird spots so at that point I don't want to give the car control of that and so it, it's annoying sometimes but it's better I'm managing this and the the car in that scenario I think on the city streets I let the car be more assertive um, we're not going as fast and I'm trying to pay as much attention uh, around so this highway, uh, it, it's definitely their more stable software, but I still don't like the auto lane change. So that's my gripe with it. But one thing I have been experiencing, and I've talked to other people about this, is the car will suddenly just slow down on the highway. Like, it, it, like the GPS doesn't know the the like correct speed for some reason, and so we'll shift. I'll, I'll drive 80 and then we'll shift to like 65 miles an hour. So it's like a hard break. And so hopefully they, they work that kink out. Um, I, we may see it on this drive. If I remember correctly, we hit it in like a mile or two, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Now the car should have suggested like a lane change here. So we're not stuck behind the, the pool guy, you know, driving 65 in this lane. We want to go 80. So you would think that we would uh, we would adjust, but maybe it's going to suggest a lane. Okay, so I suggested one here. We'll take this one. Cool. Okay, so we got about six more miles on this, so we'll throw on a little more music and then we'll catch back up uh, at the exit. All right, see you later. happened right there and we just slowed down to 65 miles an hour um, like the speed shifted and then we just slowed down so that that's what I was talking about uh, where, where are we uh, coming up on the Palm Beach Gardens exit so yeah that's that's still very annoying like there's a truck behind me and I could see like he he probably got annoyed like why would I drive, you know, 73, 74 miles an hour and then just cut down to 65 miles an hour with nothing going on in front of me? That's uh, like, that makes it very annoying. So hopefully they can work that kink out because <laughs> it sucks. And then it makes me like, it's an embarrassment for the driver. Like makes it, obviously someone drive behind me and I'm like, this guy's an idiot. What does he do? Why is he breaking? You know? And that's essentially what happens. So Get that fixed, please.
take a right and then we need to take a left okay gotcha okay okay now we're moving back into this lane that was that was a little odd I don't know why you want me to touch the wheel when we're turning okay okay now get over you have to get all the way over one more oh we're gonna miss the turn here so the car had the opportunity to make that and then they they made a mistake um it's now we have to u-turn here or the car is going to try something to get in here i guess if it's safe but yeah that was that was a mistake which had the opportunity still didn't do it we're not going to do this i don't drive like that so sorry we will take we'll take a u-turn but yeah the car was i guess they were gonna let me in too but you know like, the car is being stupid let's see if it could reroute for the it didn't reroute for the u-turn so i will u-turn this here that was bad i would say that wasn't a great uh, great turn Oh, damn it. Wrong plaza. Let's see. Can we go through here and get out? We cannot. Okay. So we're going to go in and we'll turn around. Hmm. That was a hiccup on me. Oh, now you want to reroute. See this? Come on. The reroute was, was so crazy. Let's turn us around over here. Set. Well, it's sh showing that there's a path the other way, but I don't see any way to get out of here. Let me back up. Let's do this driveway. Turn around. Okay, here we go. That was annoying. Okay, we'll let it. We'll let it go. So th this so this is an unpaved road. Um, car handles this um so we're, we're getting to the paved portion let me just take over we're getting to the paved portion and that's when i realized it's a two-lane road so all right we're gonna let it go up and we'll let this take take this right turn here we're gonna an inch out okay my foot hovered over this it's kind of a hard harder turn to take okay that person okay that person changed their mind so now the car i would say we could go after this lexus if uh okay no we should be able to go after this jeep okay okay car is very it's hesitating so much it's it still wants to check the visibility so it's it's a little it's a little scared here this is a perfect time okay great great okay we're in the road let me just handle this um not great <laughs> trying to kill me man like just, just get out there if you if you, this is the thing if you're in the road like that I guess you're like preventing like an accident, but I don't know. I didn't like it there. That could have been better. All right, well, let's park here and then we will get ready. Let's go.